Hey guys, Dennis here and today I want to talk about different PFD and which one life vest is the best for kayak fishing. I can tell you when I just started kayak fishing I started using this uh, NRX life vest which is this one. You can see it on most of my videos and uh, my philosophy was uh, this uh, this uh, vest cannot uh, fail and basically if you use this waste you're pretty much safe um, and then i changed a little bit my opinion and started using inflatable life vest and let me tell you why i did that so first of all this life vest it's very it's very bulky you know it's huge so basically if you get into the water and there is a strong current it's very hard to swim in this life vest it's going to create a lot of drag and you cannot swim like normal freestyle you swim you cannot like emerge your your head into the water in and uh, uh, swim with normal stroke it, uh, and you may need to swim fast, for example, if there is a strong current and uh, you uh, flip on a kayak and you need to get toward to your kayak before it moved by uh, wind or current, so you need to get there really fast. So it's going to be very hard to swim fast in this light vest. This light vest creates minimal drag. It's when it's deflated. It creates almost no drag and you can swim normal freestyle with your head emerged into the water. So that's why I like it. The second reason why I like this vest more because of the weather. When you fish in Florida, especially in summertime, it can be like 95, 100 degree of Fahrenheit. It's very hot. So basically when you wear in this light vest, it's it's a torture to be honest and if there's like a strong current you need to pedal in this like huge bulky life vest your body will not be able to give out uh, the heat and cool you down by sweating and this way you may get a heat stroke so people you know it's a little bit gray area i wish life vest is is uh, safer because if you get a heat stroke or you pass out because you overheated in this life vest and you pass out on a kayak it's gonna be very 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 dangerous you know it's gonna be like much more dangerous if you get into the water and let's say this life vest does not def that does not inflate for some reason and I understand people saying like you know there are lots of hook uh, lots of uh, sharp stuff on a kayak and something may penetrate this life vest or it may not inflate okay first of all if this life vest does not does not inflate automatically there is still a way to inflate it so basically what you do you just open it up and inflate it manually you know so you just inflate it manually and you're good to go And uh, let me tell you, this vest, even this vest, beside passing out, it's not absolutely safe. You have much more chances to survive if you get back in your kayak. And to get back in your kayak, sometimes you need to swim really fast. You know, if your kayak gets moved by, by wind or current, you really need to swim fast to, to, to get into your kayak and it's gonna be, you can swim much faster in this life but once you get into your kayak you're pretty much safe you know you have like paddle you can paddle your kayak towards the shore it's uh, uh flotation of your kayak is much better than flotation of any life vest and if you get into your kayak you're pretty much safe i'm not even talking about people who go offshore without practicing re-entry that's complete suicide you know if you if you cannot re-enter your re-enter your kayak you should not go offshore period you cannot do that it doesn't matter if you like uh, you know go with somebody or you go alone things may turn you know the, differently like you know 
uh, I've been in situation when it's calm and in like 5-10 minutes this is sideways towards the wind you're just gonna be flip in a fraction of a second and if even if you have a partner it may not be able to help you because he will be struggling in this situation by himself so you really need to make sure you know what you're doing let's say if you separated from your kayak in this life vest yeah it's, you, you're gonna be floating that's right but uh, you know and if you have um, if you have your radio, that's fine, that's completely fine, you can, you know, call for help. But even if you call for help, there's like 20 miles per hour wind and there's like storm, it's gonna take a, take a while for Coast Guard to find you and you're probably not gonna know your coordinates. You may not even know where you are. Sometimes it's, it's, it's dark to the point you cannot even see the shore. Another thing, how long you can survive in this life west without water right so you still need water you need nutrition to survive and uh, like if you fish in south florida sometimes the current is like four miles per hour so like in five hours you're gonna be like move 20 miles away from the point where you flipped and it's gonna be harder and harder for anyone to find you and if you think about in the ocean you know you are like gonna be like small tiny tiny dot that's gonna be very very hard to find unless you have like GPS device that may transmit the transmit signal and uh, tell them uh, uh, where to pick you up. And let me tell you what happened to me one time. So I was fishing in Panama and guys, I got separated from the group and you know, I was fine. Uh, uh, but the thing is that it was like getting dark very fast. Uh, and I tried to use my radio and apparently my radio stopped working in this very last moment So my radio was not working. I got separated from the group and in Panama uh, In order to return back you need to go through uh, Through a specific channel there in between rocks So you need to know how to navigate in between those rocks and obviously I did not know we went out with guys and uh, once we got separated i kind of understood i was like in big trouble and this was like wind 15 uh, 15 to 20 miles per hour was getting dark very very fast in panama uh and my radio was not working that was like probably one of the worst situation in my life and fortunately one of the guys he like found me like almost like at the last moment you know uh before it got dark that's emphasize the importance of uh, the importance of learning how to swim long distance that's you know one of the probably most important skill in uh, kayak fishing think about you know uh, there are a lot of things that may go wrong you may get separated from your kayak your life vest may not inflate if even if you like in regular life vest uh, you know your radio may not work or, or it you know you may lose radio somehow you know when it is happened it's like happens you know very fast and usually like not only one thing but several things may go wrong so even if you have radio you may not give exact coordinate and it may take a while before a coast guard will find you you know so there's so many things that may go wrong and the, the, the best thing what you can do is to practice long distance swimming. First of all, it's good for your health. It's good for your heart. It's good for your aerobic capacity. It's good for everything. And you know, this skill, it's, it's always going to be with you. You know, life jacket may, may, may not work, but the skill is going to be with you. So if worst case scenario, the worst case scenario got separated from, from your kayak, 
your radio is not working, your life vest did not inflate, you still can swim towards the shore, it's not a big deal, you know. Iron Man uh, triathletes, they swim like 2.2 miles, most of the kayakers, they fish uh, within like, you know, 1 mile, 1.5 mile, so, and you know, you don't need to compete in this case scenario, you know, you just need to make it to the shore so you should be able to swim my one mile 1.5 miles comfortably and it's not hard to achieve if you start swimming and start learning how to swim besides that swimming it's a lot of fun it's gonna give you good uh, cardiovascular uh, uh, endurance uh, train your heart reduce your risk of heart attack stroke or and other bad stuff that can happen to you so so start uh, swimming and I think, you know, for people who can swim well, this life vest probably is the best, you know, because for me, I really don't want to wear this like bulky stuff, you know, that you cannot swim, creates lots of drug, it's very hot in the summer, it's like a torture to be in this life vest, to be honest. You know, this life vest is much, much more comfortable, you know, much more comfortable and uh, you know, and yeah, I can swim basically towards the show with this life vest with no problem. Okay, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And I think in the next video, I will start preparation for triathlon. And uh, basically, you know, I don't have any like swimming background, training background, cycling background. And that's basically my challenge. Just want to, you know, set this challenge and see if I can achieve it. So first of all, I want to do Olympic triathlon. That's probably going to be my goal and going to be my final goal. I don't want to go for like Ironman, half Ironman, things like that. I think those things just not good for your health. So that's why I set the goal, set the goal for Olympic triathlon. There is like a one mile swimming challenge, 24 miles bike and six miles run that's very reasonable i think challenge and we'll see if we can get it and so don't forget to subscribe to see if we achieve our goal and be safe on the water good luck guys